In this video from Reports Your Way, we'll look at how to generate both a list of records and a list of unique values and when we would want to use each technique. Deciding between presenting detailed data from a transaction table or a unique list from a master table for a JET report is one of the most fundamental questions each report designer faces. Before we dig too deeply into the difference between these, let's take a moment to talk about these two types of tables. Master tables are those setup tables where we create new and distinct values. Prime examples include GL account numbers, vendor numbers, customer numbers, item numbers, etc. These numbers are all unique identifiers and these tables are fairly small, especially compared to their related transaction tables. Transaction tables hold the date related transaction records for the unique identifier numbers from the master table and hold additional information such as document number, date, amount, quantity, etc. These tables continue to grow as new transactions are added. They tend to have more fields than the master table and transaction tables can become very, very large as time goes on. When JET Reports is reading a table, it starts at the very first record and looks to see if that record matches the filters. If it does, JET either returns that value in the report or holds it in Excel's memory until JET has finished reading every single record in that table and then returns the entire list of results. So, whenever practical, we want to work with a smaller table in order to be as efficient as possible. Either a master table or transaction table can provide a list of unique values when we use the third or field parameter in the NL rows function. The function will not repeat any values for that field from a transaction table. Which table we choose is determined by which fields we need to define our filters. For example, if we need a list of foreign vendors, we can use the master table for vendors. It is a comparatively smaller table and holds the details of the vendor number, name, and country. We simply put in a filter to say the country code cannot equal the domestic country. Or we may have a field such as vendor posting group that has foreign as a value. However, if we want a list of foreign vendors who ship goods to a certain location, that is the ship to address, then we need to use a vendor transaction table where that data exists along with the vendor country code. Using the field parameter to return a value is very specific. The function will only return values for that specific field. If we are building a report that requires several field values from each record which matches our filters, we need a different technique. Let's suppose we are making a cake. We have none of the required ingredients in our kitchen. This is our blank Excel spreadsheet. We look at the recipe, our report requirements, and we see our first ingredient is flour. We jump in the car and go to the store, the record in our database table, and we buy the flour and come home. We look at the second ingredient and we see that we need eggs. Again, we jump in the car, go back to the same store, buy the eggs and come home. And we keep doing this until we have everything we need. Now, wouldn't it have been easier to go to the store just once and get everything we need in that one trip? That's where the NF function comes in. The NL rows function is our vehicle and takes us to the store, the table that holds the records. The NF functions are the items on our shopping list. The NFs are all about performance and efficiency. So, if we need more than just a single field from the database record, we need to use a record key. We accomplish this by leaving the field parameter in the NL function blank. And then use NF functions to retrieve those individual field values. The NF functions must always be connected to that NL function, otherwise it's like you left the shopping list on the kitchen counter. The main benefit of using this technique is performance but it also gives us the capability of drilling down to the record to see additional fields not included in the report. Both the JET Browser and the Report Wizard use a combination of NL and NF functions to help us quickly build out our reports. This concludes this video from Reports Your Way on how to generate both a list of records and a list of unique values. 
Which technique we choose depends a great deal on the specific information we need and the tables where it resides. We hope you found this information useful and invite you to view the other videos in our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.